What is up, ladies and germs? My name's Kinyami, and it has been a long time since I've released a video. For reasons I might go into later down the line in another video, not really important. But what is important is the fact that Injustice 2 has come out, and it is quite fun. Like, really, I am having a blast playing the game. Although, I don't know how much I'll be playing it after Tekken 7, but, I mean, I'm having a blast, so money well spent. Now, on to the actual video subject at hand. With the little silhouettes we've seen of the characters that are coming uh, for Injustice 2 as far as DLC goes, I thought I'd probably put my hand to the ring as far as what would be guest characters because I mean there's one in particular that I'll be getting to later down the line that I'm pretty sure everybody thinks is probably gonna happen and we'll talk about that later but there's some other guest characters I would actually love to see in this game so without further ado here are my top five guest characters I would love to see come as DLC and Injustice 2 now before we begin with that, I would like to bring in some honorable mentions, per se. These are the ones that are pretty cool, and I have seen some people say, hey, I would like them to be in the game, but they're not making my list. Now, if these are on your list, by all means, that, just keep them on your list and let me know why they're on your list. Because I would love to know why they are on the list and what would they be able to do as far as what you think they could do in the game. Now, this honorable list it concludes as Flash Gordon, Goku, Velocity, Invincible, and The Tick. Now, I can already see somebody in the comments saying like, What? Goku's not on your list, but he's on honorable mentions? What's up with that, man? And I will get to that in a second, because there's one character actually in the Dragon Ball universe that I would actually like more than Goku. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the top five. Now, let's start off with number one. You know him, you love him, pretty much everybody in the world who's been playing Injustice 2 wants this character to be in Injustice 2. And that is your boy, Spawn. Well, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because, I mean, everybody wants him. And so, why not? But... Like, I mean, for me personally, I would love for him to be in a game that he's actually good. Because, I mean, look at the games he's been in so far. Spawn the Eternal, uh, Spawn Armageddon. I'm sure there's another one I'm missing right now. But, like, those games are bad. And even in his representation in Soul Calibur 2, he was just Axe Guy. He, he really could have been any person, really. And I would love to see what they do with this cape as well as what they do with his chains. I feel like he could be a very good character for mid to close range. And actually, he could be long range too if they incorporate his guns as well. Now, that being said, I will be in probably in the minority here in saying that I kind of wish Spawn was actually in the next Mortal Kombat as far as the guest characters go. And that's because I feel like as far as a brutal character, he fits perfectly. But that's all I'm going to say about Swan. I'm done with him. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Alright, let's get to number four on this list. And where we go back to the one where I was saying that I'd rather not have Goku in this game. Because I'd rather have Goku Black. And the reason is, as far as... Dragon Ball like villains per se I mean they're Cell but then it comes to Goku Black and he's probably my favorite villain of Dragon Ball like all time I mean the fact that he gets stronger every time he gets hurt for the most part and Super Saiyan Rose and the Scythe and all this other stuff I mean it's it just oozes good stuff that could possibly happen in Injustice 2 and maybe, like, he, his trait could be going from Super Saiyan Rose, where he gets the scythe and all this other stuff, versus, like, having regular Go the Goku Black, who could do all these beam attacks and whatnot. And also, I feel like it'd be a great matchup for other 
big powerhouses like Wonder Woman, Superman, and all those other guys. Plus, he is very prominent in the Dragon Ball scene, and I feel like he would really pull in a lot of people into the Injustice um, anthem, I guess you could say. But honestly, he's one I would definitely love to see in Injustice 2 as a guest character. Now, I know what you're saying. It's like, well, you should probably just have Goku because, I mean, Goku versus Superman, man. That's the one that everybody's been talking about, and they can finally settle it. And I understand that, which is why he's in my honorable mentions. But as far as a character goes, I just like Goku Black better than Goku, especially with the current arcs that have been going with Dragon Ball Super. And I'm not going to spoil anything with that because, I mean, I'm not that kind of guy unless we're doing a spoiler review. So, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to move on to my next one. Alright, so moving on to our third in this list is my man, Ashura from Ashura's Wrath. Now, he could be a monster going in up close. Like, I could see him being a massive problem for anyone who really doesn't have good up close game. And for far away, he has a fireball fist move, which he can use to help close distance and also help fight people, kind of like Deadshot. Yeah, Deadshot, I brought up that name. I don't play him, so don't worry about it. But <laughs> anyway, um, as far as his trait goes, he has multiple forms as far as how his hands work. So he can have the normal base form, which is his two hands. Then he can have the four hand, six hand mode that, that he has to help do some different combos and all this other stuff and whatnot. And um, it can just basically be switching in between those. So you can get some pretty good combos going off from that. Now, as far as his supers go, I mean, if anybody's ever played Ashura's Wrath, which I'm going to try to put some clips up to show my point across, pretty much any time you hit that little rage meter, which is basically the thing that goes to the next scene, he always does something super crazy. And this is definitely relevant in his Street Fighter crossover episodes with Ryu and Oni, or aka Akuma. So honestly, there's a lot to pick from, and even then, and with the guys in Netherrealm, they've been pretty creative as far as I'm concerned, as far as what the super moves have been. Some are not so great, but some are really good, like the Flash one, definitely my favorite. So I'm pretty sure they can probably do some pretty crazy stuff with Ashura. But with that, I like honestly, I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments saying, but what about Marvel Infinite? He's probably gonna be in that way more than Injustice 2, to the point you are probably right. That being said, with Marvel Infinite, from what I've noticed, they've been using a lot of assets from their older games. So the whole fact of there being him in there other than DLC, I feel like is a lot higher than people might think. And I might have just been joined by the thunder there. Yes, it is raining in my area. So yeah, lots of fun there. But I do believe that he would be great in this game. And especially against uh, having some pretty interesting quotes of like maybe Superman or Black Adam. Or um, let's see another one. I don't know. Uh, Someone else powerful. And when I say by Black Adam, I mean because there's two different beliefs there with Black Adam. And it'd be interesting to see their philosophies go against each other. But that's all I'm going to say about Ashura. I would love to have him in there. He's very wishful thinking. Pretty much all of these are wishful thinking, let's be honest here. Um, except for maybe my number one. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's go on to the next one, shall we? Alright, so let's get to number two on this list. And number two really could have been my number one. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. Like it could have been my number one, but it's Korra from The Legend of Avatar. Now, Korra could be a very interesting character because her trait could literally be switching between two different styles. So for like the starting, she could have water and air, and then you could use the trait to switch to fire and earth. And with fire and earth, fire could be a pretty good, like, aggressive style as it is in the show. And with earth, you can use it to, like, block projectiles, bringing up walls, 
and doing some pretty interesting stuff with that. And with air, you can use it as mobility and being able to do like maybe air dashes and all this other stuff and whatnot. And water could be used for possibly some good range attacks and some stances for like water whips and all this other stuff like that. And as far as supers, she can basically just use all the elements. And pretty much in a creative way, like I was saying with Ashura, that the NRS guys, they're very, very um, good with like creativity. And I do believe that she would be a fairly fantastic character to put in. And also, I feel like she probably be, would be one of the most purchased if she was in uh, the DLC. Now, of course, this is on the Nickelodeon part, and they might not pretty like that kind of thing. But at the same time, this isn't Mortal Kombat. This is Injustice for superheroes and whatnot. So there's no, well, there's no killing per se. Spoiler alert for the story. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think she would be pretty good. I can see her being a very versatile character. And her gear could really come from her show with the different uh, costumes she kind of wears throughout the show. And I think that I definitely would buy her day one. But there's a reason for her not being my number one. And that's the fact that she would probably cost a ton. And as far as the difference between my number one versus my number two... She's never really been in the DC universe as far as like a crossover per se. But my number one has, which I will get to in a bit. But yeah, Korra, definitely cool choice. Switching stances could be great uh, for all that other stuff. Finally, we get to my number one, which is The Darkness, AKA Jackie Estacado. Now, Jackie, I want to pick in particular because this one has actually crossed over with the DC Universe before with Superman. Now, there's been many people who have been in the darkness as far as who is controlled. But this one in particular, I feel like it makes some great intro dialogue between Superman and Jackie. Now, as far as what he can do, like he's a shapeshifter so we can have like different attacks with him using like claws wings all this other stuff he has teleportation to get around projectiles he can use maybe jill's assist from marvel vs. capcom 2 with the zombies to call him out help him keep people like on the grounded or whatever and he's also had some run-ins with dr fate now as far as what he can do elsewhere he is great versatility as far as weapons go as well so he can have some weapon combat and he's pretty badass as far as the design goes and I wonder if Jim Lee could do what he's possibly done with MK if they get permission for it and redesign him kind of like they did with Scorpion and Sub-Zero which I love their designs Despite the fact that they're MK characters in a DC game, they do look awesome. And I'll leave that other MK in DC for another talk altogether. Now, I would think that Jackie probably would be the most likely on this list because he's crossed over with DC before. And with the product, like, I feel like they can get the rights a lot easier than any of these other characters. But yeah, I would love to see Jackie in this game. I would love to see what he could do. I mean, the possibilities with the darkness is endless as far as I, I think anyway. But yeah, that's my top five. Now, if you've made it this far, for one thing, thank you for listening and watching the video. You're awesome. Secondly, I know that this list is more of a wish list, really, than a practical list. Unlike my other one, which is kind of trying to be more of a practical list than a wish list. Although there was one character, still rooting for you, Makoto. Really want you in Tekken 7. But that being said, um, I would love it if any of these characters were in. I think they would be a definite day one for me if they were in the game. 
and some of these characters I do believe would sell even more than Scorpion for their MK uh, character. And I mean, come on, Spawn. People have been asking for that since MK9, I think. And like, really, he's gonna sell. Now, I would rather have him in Mortal Kombat, like I stated earlier, but that's here, here, or there. But did you like my list? Did you not like my list? Do you think it sucks? Do you think it's great? Do you have a list of your own? Let me know in the comments down below. What I would love to hear everybody's back, list back, back, and why back, you think back, they back. should be in the game, what can they do, and what they sell. But until next time, Godspeed, Pilgrims. Peace.